Bundy's Garage, Bundy here. Today we're working on a 2001 Honda Odyssey. We're actually going to be doing the sway bar link on the driver's side. Passenger side would be exactly the same, so I'm not going to show you both sides. Uh, the funny thing is, when I bought the parts for this, the packaging only actually comes with one sway bar link. So you have to buy two of them to do both sides. I just decided to do the driver's side. Probably a couple weeks down the road, I'll go ahead and replace the passenger side as well. So first thing you need to do is go ahead and loosen up these lug nuts, 19 millimeter. Loosen all these up and then we'll jack the vehicle up. So go ahead and get all those loose. Okay, all those are loose. We'll jack it up a little bit. Get the wheel off. The sway bar link is this right here. Means all the, here's a sway bar. This link comes up to the uh, strut. You need to replace that. It's worn out up here and down there as well. So right here, there's a place for a uh, Allen wrench. And you have to break that bolt loose. And depending on exactly how we need to get, get it back in we might need a second jack to lower or raise it to line this this spot up again so let me find out exactly i'm thinking that's a 14 millimeter bolt but i'll double check right now okay this is actually a 17 millimeter i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can break this loose real quick righty tighty lefty loosey It's not going anywhere. Okay, I got a breaker bar, 3 8 breaker bar. Hopefully that inside isn't just spinning on me. It's actually coming loose. Okay, that one's loose. Try to get this one over here. Get this one next. Get a 17 millimeter wrench. Tap it up. Give me a 17 millimeter ratcheting wrench. Kind of like a gear wrench. Okay, get that out of the way. Pull the top one off. Okay, let's see if I can get it loose. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to get the second jack in here. And raise this thing up a little bit to get it out. If you have two jacks, the better. You can use a scissor jack if you want. Just anything that's needed to get this thing back up again. Or to raise the vehicle, I should say. What I'm doing, I'm just taking right here on the top. Just took that. If you want to protect those threads, you can put the nut back on. I'm just going to actually pound it out. So I'm just going in there. There we go. It's out. It's all worn out, busted. Not really doing its job. It's seen better days. So it's just a ball joint in there. So let me go get the new one, put that in. We should be done. Like I said, the kit didn't come with both sides, just came with one. So I'll be doing the other side here relatively quick. So just remember before you take it out that this, the top um, sway bar link was actually coming this way with the threads. And on the bottom it was facing towards the engine. So let me go get the new one. 
We'll install, install that bad boy real quick. Master Pro undercar. Picked this up from O'Reilly. O'Reilly's. It was about uh, about thirty bucks, man. Twenty six something. Tax was came out to thirty. Let's open up. Take a look. So. Wow, comes with Zerk fittings. <laughs> nice, so you can actually grease these things up. Let's see, where do they go? <laughs> they go right here. So right here, the old ones, the original stock ones, did not have Zerk fittings. So you can actually grease these as a maintenance item. That's awesome. So go ahead, screw those puppies in there. Actually, first, before we do that, let's make sure that they're the same length. Yep. Same length and everything. So it should be good. You don't want to get one that's too long or too short. Let's go ahead and put these in there. Get the other one in here. That's really a nice feature. Yeah, I actually might need to get a wrench to actually finish it up all the way so the grease doesn't leak out. Let me get a wrench and I'll tighten these things up. Got the Zerk fitting to fit down there correctly. So it just bottoms out. You don't need to put a lot of force on there. It just needs to sit in there. Just a place for the grease to get into. So now I'll double check here. Make sure that this nut is still 17 millimeter. Which it appears to be. It's always a bummer when you get in there and there's a new nut on something and you think it's the old one. Yes, it is 17 millimeter. You think it's the old one and it ends up being something different. So go ahead. Install those now. So insulation is reverse as removal. This one will be sticking out and this one will be going in. Alright, see? This is where you need the uh, jack to jack up this point because right now I have it that side, the bottom, the bottom part is in and I should put the nut on the back side here just to hold it in place. So it doesn't pop out or lose it. I'm not tightening it up. Okay, and then when I bring it here, see it's too high. So I'm gonna have to use a second jack to raise it up for it to sit correctly. So we'll go like this. Compress the spring a little bit. Is that right? Okay, there, see? Had to raise it up a little bit to get that on. So you will need a second jack to get it on there correctly. You can use the jack that comes with the van. Or if you have two floor jacks. So I'm gonna tighten these down. And then after I tighten them down, I'm going to put some grease into the Zerk fittings. Keep spinning on me. If it's spinning on you, there's a nut on the back side that you can actually hold. I'm using just a crescent wrench here. And uh, hoping that'll stop it from spinning. So that's on there. Okay, that one's tight. We'll do the same thing down here as well. So then hold it here. This nut back there. Where's my gear wrench? Get the gear wrench here. Okay, that side's tight. Okay, cool. All right, one thing I wanted to point out to you guys is the fact that uh, when you put the Zerk fittings in, right here you can see, and I did it on the I did it on the top as well. But I wanted to face these basically down or leading towards the other the other end. That way it made it it made it easier when you need to grease these in the future. Because if this was 
180 degrees down, it'd be at the uh, lower control arm and just make it that much more difficult to get to. So I put the one on top facing down, the one on the bottom facing up, I guess you could say. So just, you'll see, you'll, it'll make sense when you guys see it, but just make sure you put these in a position that it's easy to grease when it comes time to do that. So, all right, now, next thing I'll be to do is lower it down. I'll grease these next. I won't bore you with that, but go ahead, grease these. I actually use mobile one grease. Um, and then uh, raise it up a little bit, put the tire back on. I torque the lug nuts down to 80 foot pounds in a star pattern. So that's what you guys need to do. I'll be doing the passenger side in about a week once I get another sway bar link. If you have found any of my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to Bundy's Garage. I try to answer back all comments that are left on my YouTube channel. If you want more immediate assistance, you can always email me at bundysgarage at gmail.com. And like always, I'll keep them rolling for you.